there everyone. My name is Angela and I'll be your host for season two of the 8-Bit. There are a ton of exciting games coming out this fall and we can't wait to bring you the lowdown on all of them. That being said, let's get started with some big news out of Nintendo. The Pokemon company has teamed up with former Google startup Niantic to create Pokemon Go, a new app for your Android or iPhone. So what exactly is Pokemon Go? Well, this new app will allow users to interact with Pokemon in the real world. So next time you're walking by Martin Stadium, you may find yourself facing off with the wild Snorlax. You can find the announcement trailer for Pokemon Go on the Pokemon website. This exciting new adventure in the Pokemon world is expected to come out sometime in 2016. In other Nintendo news, Nintendo's board of directors announced that the new CEO of Nintendo will be Tatsumi Kimishima. Kimishima has been an invaluable high-level executive at Nintendo since the early 2000s. During Kimishima's time with Nintendo, he has been CEO of Nintendo North America and CFO of the Pokemon Company. However, his time was predominantly spent as the Nintendo Director of Human Resources. Kimishima is replacing Satoru Iwata, whose sudden death shocked the gaming world. Many wonder whether Kimishima will stay the course or take Nintendo into uncharted waters. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. For years, Mario fans have been eagerly awaiting the chance to leave their own mark on the incredible world of the Mushroom Kingdom. On the 11th of September, gamers finally got that chance with the release of Mario Maker, the Wii U exclusive that allows players to create, play, and share levels of their own. Here's our review of Nintendo's latest hit. If I had to choose one game to play for the rest of my life, Mario Maker would definitely be on my shortlist. Nintendo's newest exclusive provides limitless entertainment due to the imaginous level design of the users, the ease of creating your own, and the sheer amount of levels designed and shared daily. The level creator in Mario Maker is ingenious, being both easy to use and difficult to master. The Wii U tablet is perfect for drag and drop creation because of the touchscreen and simple user interface. Although it's simple to add the elements given to you, each tool can be altered with a host of different tricks. For example, to make an enemy giant, simply drag a mushroom on the desired target. Want it to start flying? We'll just pop a pair of wings on and watch it soar. One of the best features of Mario Maker is its ability to cater to multiple generations of Mario fans. Players can switch between four different art styles that have been used throughout the franchise. From the 8-bit pixel art of the original NES game to the 3D model of the Wii U version, Mario Maker has a style for every Mario fan. The ability to share and play other creators' levels makes Mario Maker a game that's impossible to complete. With over a million levels created so far, the exponential growth of the amount of shared levels is daunting to say the least. The course world organizes levels into well-reviewed, up-and-coming, and featured levels. Although it's nice that these categories exist, the ability to search for specific levels is seriously flawed in Mario Maker. It is possible to search out a level a friend created, but the only way to do so is to enter a 16-digit code. Mario Maker's ease of use, nostalgic art styles, and innovative levels make it a blast to play, but it's hindered by its antiquated search system. That being said, Mario Maker can provide endless entertainment due to the amount of amazing levels shared each and every day. The 8-bit gives Mario Maker a 9 out of 10. Bethesda Game Studios recently announced on their official website that the future of Fallout 4 is already being planned. While the game has yet to be released, Bethesda announced the price for their season pass at $30. This pass will grant players access to all future downloadable content. Bethesda continued to add that Fallout 4 will allow PC gamers access to a creation kit to create their own mods for the game and share them with other users in the Fallout community on Xbox One and eventually PS4. You can explore the new wastelands when Fallout 4 releases on November 10th, 2015. Microsoft has announced that the new Xbox One update will make certain systems perform faster. The head of Xbox engineering, Mike Ibarra, further elaborated during the latest episode of Major Nelson Radio. Ibarra said that popular gaming features will run 50% faster, but didn't mention what they would be. Ibarra said fans can look forward to a new level of speed and responsiveness. 
Coined as the new Xbox One experience, it will see major overhauls to the Xbox One dashboard, as well as the highly anticipated backwards compatibility of Xbox 360 games. The update is now available for all preview program members. However, it will be available for everyone in November. With all the excitement over Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, we thought it would be fun to apply one of the series' trademark stealth techniques on the students at WSU. Let's take it to Alex in the field for this week's challenge segment, Operation Mall Crawl. Hi, I'm Alex, codename Aluminum Snake, and I'm here today on the Glen Terrell Mall to fulfill my latest mission, codename Mall Crawl. Fans of the Metal Gear series have learned a thing or two about stealth over the years, and one lesson that rings truer than the rest is that you gotta be able to think inside the box. More specifically, think inside the cardboard box. My mission is to use my highly advanced stealth unit, codename Cube. Sneak past enemy troops, infiltrate the base without being detected. Mission is a go. Let's do this. Another successful mission from the Aluminum Snake. I was able to sneak by in plain sight. Tune in next week for another exciting 8-bit challenge. Calling all Guardians! The latest expansion for Bungie's shooter Destiny went live on September 15th and promises to bring some new updates to the addicting shooter. The expansion will launch with new story missions, strikes, and one new raid where you will be able to take on Oryx, who was upset that you killed his son in the previous raid. Yikes. Another addition to this update is a new leveling up system that will not require Guardians to max out their light level. Instead, you can rank up your character through XP gained through the various quests and bounties throughout the game. The Taken King expansion is now available for the PS4 and Xbox One. Sony unleashed a flurry of announcements at the 2015 Tokyo Game Show Conference, including information on the latest Kingdom Hearts installment. Square Enix has announced Kingdom Hearts 2.8, final chapter prologue for PlayStation 4. The game is a compilation of three Kingdom Hearts titles, including an HD remaster of Dream Drop Distance, x back cover, and their newest installation, Birth by Sleep Point 2, a fragmentary passage. Birth by Sleep Point 2 takes place after the events of the original Birth by Sleep. The bundle is designed to tell the tale of the events that led up to the first installation of the game. The first official trailer was released on September 17th. The latest entry in the Metal Gear franchise was released at the beginning of this month and has had the gaming world buzzing ever since. With seemingly endless in-game possibilities, The Phantom Pain is a game showing up on everyone's wish list. Check out our review.
Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain is the 8th entry in a 28 year old franchise run by a director who has said on 3 separate occasions he was leaving the series. And yet, The Phantom Pain is one of the boldest most engaging games to come out in the years. Creator Hideo Kojima has taken the unique stealth mechanics and insane attention to details from previous Metal Gear games and applied them to two massive and beautiful open worlds. The result? Something unlike any other game. Phantom Pain takes place in 1984, nine years after the events of the prologue chapter, MGS5, Ground Zeroes. You play as Big Boss, prior protagonist of both Metal Gear Solid 3 and Peace Walker. He is also the genetic fodder of Metal Gear Solid's Solid Snake. Big Boss was wrung nine years ago by a mysterious man named Skullface, and he wants revenge. To get his revenge, Snake is gonna have to do some wet work. The game's campaign is structured into a series of episodes, with each episode making up its own unique mission. Side operations unlock as secondary quests as you make your way through the story. There's not a lot of variations in missions. Rescue the hostage, assassinate the target, or steal the mysterious cargo. But each mission can be approached in an infinite number of ways. The game has been polished to the nth degree. Close quarter combat is no longer the clumsy chore it was in prior MGS games. It's dynamic, fluid, and even useful for reconnaissance. And if you take the run and gun strategy, the gunplay in this game is polished and incredibly fun. Every perfect mission completion earns Big Boss money. This money can then be invested into Big Boss's private military company, the Diamond Dogs. With more money comes new upgrades for Boss, his infield buddies, and the Diamond Dogs offshore mother base. There's one thing that can be purchased though, soldiers. You'll need to collect your military force on the field by using the Fulton, a hilariously animated balloon-based rescue system. Every soldier that you collect comes with unique stats, turning MGS5 into the greatest military sci-fi Pokemon clone ever created. MGS5 is a big beautiful package filled with secrets and an amazing soundtrack made up of awesome 80s pop songs, and worth every penny. The 8-bit gives MGS5 a 10 out of 10. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time is a wacky and lovable platformer from indie developer Asteroid Base that we think everyone needs to know about. Flying through space with either a friend or your trusty AI, teamwork is everything in this week's Indie Spotlight. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time from Toronto-based developer Asteroid Base hurls players into a vibrant and strange world full of endless possibilities. The game can be played single player or co-op, and the objective of the game is to repair the Ardor Reactor and stop anti-love from spreading through space by rescuing adorable little animals from their captors and taking on unique bosses. Players fly a spaceship, working together to control the ship's various accessories and navigate the levels while avoiding environmental hazards as well as warding off enemy attacks. Every ship is equipped with an engine, a shield, a map, turrets, and an ultimate weapon named the Yamato Cannon. Players find power gems throughout the levels which power up the accessories in fun and interesting ways. Upgrading your ship's parts allow you to attach an additional power gem for even more possible combinations. Expect to be on guard at all times when playing this game. The need to cooperate is almost constant, as enemies can attack from all sides, all while gravity pulls you towards more danger. Enemies might breathe fire at you, fire missiles at you, or even simply ram your ship. Determining where your shield is needed is crucial. Also, the turrets have a limited range, making it necessary to always be moving your character around within the ship. Readjusting the shields, changing turrets, and activating your saving grace, the Yamato Cannon. The environment plays a large role in this game, and can be more dangerous at times than the enemies you encounter. The environment can also be used to the player's advantage, if used correctly. From asteroid belts to puddles of suspended water, the randomly generated terrain is replayable and allows players to strategize even more. The game is certainly a challenging one. There are times where taking damage truly seems unavoidable. Being pushed into an asteroid is never a welcoming feeling, but one player's will experience. However, this simply makes victory all the more satisfying. This game is a wonderful change of pace from all the big time AAA games coming out this fall. Although playing single player allows you to always be in full control, playing with a friend allows for a variety of techniques and strategies for surviving a level and can lead to some funny mishaps and close calls. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time is available on Steam, the Xbox Store, and the Humble Store. Get your copy today. 
That's all the time we have for this episode. Come back next time for the latest news and reviews. While you're waiting, go like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This is Angela Nguyen, signing off.